China's ambitions in space received a boost over the weekend as three astronauts docked at China's semi-finished space station. Tiangong is expected to be fully ready by the end of the year. 2025 launch a manned mission to the moon by 2029 and explore Jupiter among other missions. The country's space program has accelerated under President Xi Jinping and the message is clear. The sky is not the limit. China's space program and its advancements in space technology have been making headlines around the world. In recent years, China has made significant strides in developing its space industry, including the successful launch of multiple manned space missions, the construction of its own space station, and the landing of spacecraft on the moon. China's advancements in the rocket industry have been driven by a focus on innovation, investment in research and development, and strategic planning. China's space program is now one of the most advanced in the world, and its continued progress is likely to have a significant impact on the global space industry. Also, the space program has been a major source of national pride and has helped to strengthen the country's global image. Today, we are going to analyze the most important achievements of their race into space, assessing the resilience of their engineers to overcome the isolation of Western space technology. Are you ready? So let's get started. The establishment of the People's Republic of China in 1949 under the leadership of Mao Zedong brought about significant changes to China's approach to science and technology development. The new government prioritized scientific research as a means of achieving national goals and promoting economic and social development. This led to the creation of a comprehensive system for scientific research and education, including the establishment of the Chinese Academy of Sciences in 1950. In the 1950s, China began to invest in missile technology with the help of the Soviet Union, which provided technical assistance and training to Chinese scientists and engineers. In 1956, China signed a contract with the Soviet Union to obtain a license to produce the R-2 SS-2 missile, which served as the foundation for China's first domestic missile program. In the following years, China made significant strides in developing missile technology, with the successful testing of its first missile, the Dongfeng-1, in 1964. This achievement marked a turning point in China's technological development and established a solid foundation for the country's space program. In the 1970s, China began to shift its focus towards developing satellite technology and manned spaceflight capabilities. The country launched its first satellite, Dongfeng Hong 1, in 1970, which was built entirely with domestic technology. China's space program continued to develop throughout the 1980s and 1990s, with the successful launch of a series of communication, remote sensing, and scientific satellites. In the 2000s, China began to focus on developing more advanced space technologies, including the Long March rocket series, the Tiangong Space Station, and the Chang'e Lunar Exploration Program. In recent years, China has made significant progress in developing its space capabilities, including the successful landing of its Chang'e 4 spacecraft on the far side of the moon in 2019. China's success in space technology can be attributed to its strong investment in science and technology development, as well as its focus on building a skilled workforce of scientists and engineers. The launch of the first artificial satellite, Sputnik, by the Soviet Union in 1957 had a profound impact on China's rocket and space program development. Following the launch of Sputnik, China's leadership recognized the strategic importance of space technology and decided to develop its own space program. At that time, China's rocket technology was in its infancy and it did not have the technical capability to build a satellite. In response, China sought assistance from the Soviet Union, and the two countries signed an agreement in 1958 for the exchange of scientific and technical information, which included assistance with rocket and satellite technology. China's early rocket and space efforts were led by a team of scientists and engineers, including Qian Zhusen, a prominent rocket scientist who had studied in the United States before returning to China to work on rocket technology. Qian played a critical role in the development of China's rocket and space program, including the design and development of China's first ballistic missile, the Dongfeng-1. Despite China's efforts to develop its own satellite technology, it was not until the 1960s that the country began to make significant progress. In 1965, China established the 5th Academy of the Ministry of National Defense to focus on the development of space technology. And in 1970, China successfully launched its first satellite, Dongfeng Hong-1, making China the fifth country to have launched a satellite. Throughout the 1980s and 1990s, China continued to develop its rocket technology and launch capabilities. The country developed a series of Long March rockets which were used to launch satellites and spacecraft, including China's first manned mission, Shenzhou-5, in 2003. 
Later on, an event that contributed to China's development of space technology was the country's decision to pursue manned spaceflight capabilities. This decision was made in the 1990s, and it was driven by the belief that manned spaceflight would be critical for China's economic and technological development, as well as its status as a global power. In 1992, China launched its first manned space program, which was named the Shenzhou Program. The program was led by a team of scientists and engineers, including astronaut Yang Liwei, who became China's first astronaut to go into space in 2003. The development of China's manned space program required significant investment in research and development, as well as the development of new technologies. The country focused on developing reliable spacecraft, advanced life support systems, and launch vehicles capable of delivering a spacecraft and its crew safely into orbit. Since the launch of the Shenzhou program, China has continued to make significant progress in developing its manned space capabilities. The country has launched a series of manned missions, including the launch of a space lab, Tiangong-1, and the launch of two space stations, Tiangong-2 and Tiangong-3. Most recently, under Xi Jinping, the policy that contributed to China's development of space technology was the country's decision to invest in the development of advanced rocket technology. In particular, the development of the Long March 5 rocket played a critical role in China's space program and its ability to launch heavy payloads, including space stations and lunar probes. The Long March 5 rocket was developed by the China Academy of Launch Vehicle Technology, CALT, which is one of the major rocket development institutes in China. The development of the Long March 5 began in the 1990s and was led by a team of scientists and engineers, including CALT's chief designer, Liang Xiong. The development of the Long March 5 was a major undertaking. The rocket is powered by a new generation of rocket engines, including the YF-100 engine, which was developed specifically for the Long March 5. In addition, the rocket uses advanced materials and manufacturing techniques to improve its performance and reliability. The first launch of the Long March 5 took place in 2016 and was a significant milestone for China's space program. The rocket was capable of launching payloads of up to 25 metric tons to low Earth orbit, which made it one of the most capable rockets in the world at that time. In addition, the Long March 5 was critical to the success of China's lunar exploration program, as it was used to launch the Chang'e 5 lunar sample return mission in 2020. In the mid of a global space race with the West, another factor that contributed to the speed of technological development of China in relation to the US and Europe was the country's focus on developing advanced satellite technology. This technology has been critical for China's space program, as it has allowed the country to gather important data and information about the Earth and its environment. One of the key advancements in China's satellite technology was the development of the Baidu Satellite Navigation System. This system was designed to provide global navigation coverage and is similar to the GPS system used by the United States. The Beidou Satellite Navigation System was developed by the China Academy of Science Technology CAST and required significant investment in research and development. The system is made up of a network of satellites in orbit as well as ground stations and user terminals on the ground. The development of the Beidou system began in the 1990s and the first satellite was launched in 2000. Since then, China has continued to launch additional satellites to expand the coverage of the system. In 2020, China completed the deployment of the Beidou system, which now provides global navigation coverage. The development of the Beidou system has been a major achievement for China's space program and its satellite technology. The system is critical for China's military as well as its civilian infrastructure and has a wide range of applications, including navigation, mapping, and telecommunications. In addition to the Beidou system, China has also focused on developing advanced Earth observation satellites, which are critical for monitoring the Earth's environment and natural resources. These satellites are used to gather data on climate change, natural disasters, and other environmental factors. At this point, there was a decision that changed forever the space race. China's development of space technology was completely revamped after the country's decision to establish its own space station. This decision was critical for China's space program, as it allowed the country to conduct long-term space missions and carry out experiments in microgravity environments. The development of China's space station began in the early 1990s, and it was led by the China Manned Space Engineering Office CMSCO. The CMSEO was established in 1992 and is responsible for the design, development, and operation of China's manned space program. The first component of China's space station, the Tiangong-1 module, was launched in 2011. The module was designed to serve as a testbed for China's space station technology and was visited by two crews of Chinese astronauts in 2012 and 2013. 
Following the success of Tiangong-1, China began development of its permanent space station, which is known as the Tiangong Space Station. The space station is made up of three main modules, including the Tianhe Core module, which was launched in April 2021. The other two modules, Wenshin and Menchin, are scheduled to be launched in the coming years. The development of the Tiangong Space Station has required significant investment in research and development, as well as expertise in space station design, construction and operation. The success of the space station can be attributed to China's strong investment in its space program, as well as the expertise of the scientists and engineers at the CMSEO and other related institutions. The final historical event that contributed to China's development of space technology was the country's successful soft landing on the far side of the moon. This achievement made China the first country in the world to successfully land a spacecraft on the far side of the moon. The Chang'e 4 mission, which achieved the historic landing, was launched on December 7, 2018, and the landing occurred on January 3, 2019. The mission was carried out by the China National Space Administration CNSA and was named after the Chinese goddess of the moon. The Chang'e 4 spacecraft was composed of two main parts, a lander and a rover. The lander was equipped with a suite of scientific instruments, including cameras, a spectrometer, a radar system, and a lunar sesimeter. The rover was designed to move around the surface of the moon, collect data, and send it back to Earth. The mission was a major achievement for China's space program and required significant investment in research and development as well as expertise in spacecraft design, navigation and control. The success of the mission can be attributed to the efforts of the scientists and engineers at the CNSA and other related institutions. In addition to the Chang'e 4 mission, China has also launched other lunar missions, including the Chang'e 5 mission, which successfully returned samples from the moon in December 2020. These missions have demonstrated China's ability to conduct complex space missions and carry out scientific research in deep space. That is all for today guys. If you like this content, don't forget to subscribe. See you!